Um, so Aziz Istanbul, Yahya Kemal's poem, it's written in the 20s. It's a very nationalistic, but very uh, 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 beautiful um, devotion to, uh, to um, uh, Istanbul. There are three struggles going on there. The place of the Turkish musical past and the present, uh, East versus West. Uh, the Turkish musical past being in, uh, you know, Ottoman music and Eastern music. A lot of this is coming out of North India uh, and uh, Persia um, that, that sort of spreads across. Uh, but it's connected to, to ancient Greek music as well with the Phrygian modes and all that. Um, so it's just, you know, it's just sort of the, the music of everywhere from from Greece to uh, to India. Um, and uh, uh, being... being um, um, <clears throat> unfavorably compared to uh, European classical music uh, with its, uh, you know, with its uh, um, well-tempered uh, uh, clavier, you know, the uh, majors and minors and all the, you know, all the keys. Uh, number two is the changing representations of intimacy, uh, male, female versus androgynous queer. Um, there are... Uh, 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 various kinds of heteronormative ideas coming along uh, in in modernity that that are that were challenged prior to that, of course, by um, um, queer uh, uh, sexualities prior to the European advance, uh, and that are sort of being reborn in the seventies and eighties um, with the sort of return of uh, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, alternative modernities. Uh, and then Istanbul's rapidly changing cityscape of Islamism and tourism. Um, uh, Istanbul, of course, being the traditional seat of the caliphate uh, that was denied by uh, by Ataturk uh, when he moved the capital to um, the, the middle of the country, uh, away from, from Ottoman sort of cosmopolitanism and, and, and toward Turkish nationalism uh, and secularism uh, to Ankara. Uh, so Istanbul then... Uh, reflects a, a kind of Islamism, uh, a, a home for Islamists who, who want to revive uh, the caliphate um, and bring religion back into politics. Uh, but it's also a very beautiful city for Western tourists to come and look at all the, the mosques and, and, and museums and uh, wander the, the streets uh, and uh, revive a cosmopolitan sense that maybe the Islamists aren't so interested in. Uh, you know, people walking around without veils on and drinking beer at the, you know, at the at the bars and stuff like that. So, um, so there's these, you know, there's these struggles going on here between Islamism and tourism, uh, between heteronormative and uh, uh, more um, sort of gender queer, uh, and between East and West. Within the context of Turkish nationalism centered on Ankara, Aziz Istanbul was a celebration of one cosmopolitan Turkey against nationalist Turkey, as well as two elite culture against uh, popular culture. Um, so uh, when we see Aziz Istanbul in Munir Nureddin Seljuk's version from the 1950s, it is elite art music. And when we start, we're just going to listen to the beginning of it here. Um, the call to prayer is an impressionistic feeling of a soundscape. So here's the, uh, here's the, uh, I, I skipped ahead a little bit with this version. Hold on. There we go. Sadebir 
Okay, we'll pause it there. Just uh, remember right at the beginning, uh, that call to prayer was not really a call to prayer. It was, ah, and then a, a female version of it coming along behind. Sort of uh, the idea is that there's this um, echoing, uh, uh, very, very slight, slightly religious, uh, but not too religious, uh, echoing of the cityscape here with the call to prayer going up. No words uh, are uh, audible at all. It's just, ah. Okay, so the religion, the call to prayer is a very impressionistic feeling of a soundscape. The second version of this is Bilent Ersoy's version on Ala Turka 95 from 1995, uh, 40 years later. Um, this is, uh, Bilent is, a, is an arabesque singer, but she's making a bid here for classical uh, recognition. Um, she is a trans, we would, uh, sorry, a, a trans woman. Um, we are uh, showing our age here. I'm sorry, I wrote this about five years ago or maybe eight. Uh, she's a trans woman <clears throat> and thus um, was born with um, a, 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 a male gendered body by her, by her community. Um, and her uh, queerness is much more assertive than Zeki Marin. So Zeki is just cool. He's every, you know, he's everything to everyone. He's, 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 he's totally bland. She is not. Um, and so before that, we're going to see a, uh, 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 a version of her um, a video by her, and I can't. Oh goodness, I had the, <clears throat> I had it called up here. Uh, what it, what it, uh, what, what the the song meant, but I couldn't. This Bill uh, Ben Beer Allah. It's something like God, God knows who I am, or something like that. It's a very, um, you'll see. It's a little bit aggressive here. This is uh, Bilent uh, Ersoy's, um, just an ordinary music video from 2013. <laughs> Suretime aldanıp sakın yanılmayın Yüzümün güldüğüne bakmayın Aşkım canı yanan var danım bende Bu yüreği taşlayan sanmayın Sel olur gizlice Okay, so you can see it's a lot more um, uh, in your face. Um, <laughs> much more assertive than Zeki Muren's queerness. Okay, so for her version of the call to prayer, uh, not only is she religious, right? She's a, she's a believer uh, in ways that, that um, um, Munir Nuruddin was never. Um, and you'll hear this in her version of... Um, of uh, um, Aziz Istanbul. Uh, here we go. He said, Allahu Akbar. You could hear it. It was the call to prayer. It was a, a in-your-face um, uh, uh, flourishing of religion in the public sphere in the face of TRT uh, and the other secularists of Turkey who would say, you know, this is anathema. We don't wear our religion on our sleeve like this. And Bulent is like, I don't care. I'm a believer. I'm doing it anyway. I love God. Take it. <laughs> Sana dön bir tepeden bak 
Kadı maziz ıslan Görmedim, gezmedim, sevmedim hiç bir Keyfince I love that we have a a, a Turkish uh, sort of oriental fantasy going on there with the you know the the woman and the slaves uh, fanning her and then we suddenly cut away to a modern uh, you know holding her cell phone with her glasses on uh, showing herself to be a modern woman as well. Okay, I'm going to pause it there and then we'll we'll come back and and uh, finish up um, finish this up, I hope. <laughs> 